<laughs> you know, one of the most single most important things about your home is curb appeal. Yep. Curb appeal. And no, I'm just kidding. Curb you appeal. You stand on the curb and you see one of those houses with the beautiful floor going, my yard doesn't look like that. <laughs> it could, though. I want people looking and go, that's some nice curbs. Because you need, you need the expert. <laughs> yes. And the expert is Mary Bramer from Millburgers. How are you? How are you doing? So how can we make, she, on her phone, she was showing, mm -hmm. you know, most people have pictures of their, their pets and all that stuff. She's got her front lawn, which is just gorgeous out yeah. there. It looks, I mean, you know, this time's 100. So how do you get your, your yard to look like this? Well, it's proper preparation of the soil is your okay. number one key. And the mix that we use in the soil is called landscape mix. What it'll do is loosen, aerate, and hold moisture at the same time. And we're going to demonstrate with this potting soil what it might look like after you've fixed your soil. Okay. It, it doesn't have to look this rich and dark. Well, that's some good. But you need it loose. Cap. You mm -hmm. need a nice loosening up at least okay. twice the size of the pot. And never go any deeper than the pot itself, and I'll tell you why. Okay. okay. Now, if your, mm -hmm. you know, if your ground is more like concrete than this stuff, you do have to break it up, obviously, right? I, so, I'm, I'm in the Blackland Prairie, which means uh, if it rains too much, I have things drown. Okay. So it's very important I fix the soil enough to help it drain. Okay. okay. All right. Sounds good, because okay. that's the drainage and for the little roots so they can grow in there, because otherwise yes. there's no room to grow. No right? air, no root. All right. Okay. So you want the if we're mm -hmm. potting a plant or planting a plant, a potted mm. plant like that. See, I'm still smelling dirt here. Going. I'm all no, confused. I know. Here. Uh, <laughs> the trick is twice the size of that. So the best thing to do is what? Set the pot down on the ground and then draw a circle around it. Or, or you put two pots next to each other and there's your circle right there. Okay. Okay. So at least that you can go out farther, and uh, when you're pulling the pot out, I gently squeezed it. Now you see the pots are going in. The roots are going in circles here. Mm-hmm. You, you want to interrupt circles on shrubs and trees, otherwise you get these big nodding, big roots, and especially a tree will fall over if there's a big storm because it's girded itself. Oh. So it will set it back a little bit. You've got to reroot it. But you either rough it up to loosen out the roots, mm -hmm. or you have to cut those bigger roots so that it can regrow new roots. Okay. Okay. Is that your phone? That is my phone. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to say, that's your phone. I never You're thought about that. Uh, I rarely get a call. This is great. And Whoever's calling her, she's on TV it. right now. And the reason why you don't plant it too deep is because, and this okay. is, goes this with is, the tree or anything else, right? With the tree, with especially some perennials hate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So what you got to do is keep that root ball, the top, exposed so it can breathe. That little part right there, if that's covered up, you're much well It'll choke. Just it'll it totally off. just okay. can't breathe and it will die. It'll okay. rot if you put mulch up against it too. So you got to keep the mulch just outside of the root ball, center of the root ball. So you want it just a little above grade. Mm -hmm. Do you it's, pack it in real tight around it? Do you heal it in? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Well, you, you want it to be just like that. Okay. So you've got, and then you make a nice well. So that you can water it, and as you can see, it will not be flo flowing back onto the top root ball. So that way it's going to go down the sides, and the roots underneath are going right. to drink the water. Mm -hmm. and, and so many people so many people come to me after loving them to death. You know, I planted mm -hmm. it really deep, and I'm like, oh, okay, I did that to you at about 13 years old, and it didn't work. <laughs> and uh, I told them, look, I've done everything you could possibly do wrong. That's how I learned the hard way, but you don't have That's to. That's how you know it's right. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to. You come talk to me first, you know. I'll help you out. Other things to plant in the fall, mm -hmm. we can do uh, oh, fruits my and favorite right? Here. Pretty oh, there you strawberries. go. Strawberries. <gasps> also, yes. extremely important, you do not bury these deep. Okay. okay. So you want to see just the crown above the ground there. So, same so thing you would, over here. You don't have to rough up the roots in these. As you see, it's not woody roots. Okay. And you got to be gentle. You know, you could pull them apart a little bit if there's a lot of them. Again, plant it in the soil just, just to just, where you... Just enough. Too just high, enough. Too high is better if you're going to not a get it A little above is better. It's better than a below. Okay. And then strawberries, I recommend people... Uh, best in like a hanging basket or a pot that mm -hmm. you can put on a table... Because you got the creepy crawly things that like to eat the strawberries mm -hmm. if you have it on the ground. Okay. And there's diseases in our ground, so that can affect them. These are the best varieties uh, available now. It's called Fiesta, and it's a very productive strawberry, medium size. And this is what they call a uh, airplane 
airplane off of that because that's going to be another strawberry plant. After December, you don't want those. Okay. okay. You could actually grow some more until that by just putting it on the soil next to it, and you'll have oh. another strawberry plant. But then you want to stop yeah. that. Okay. It can take the weather. It can be outside. It might lose leaves. Clean it up. It's still growing roots. So if you want to, you know, now that the weather's getting a little bit more tolerable to be outside, mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. you want to start planting, and if you want to get, get your hand going with the green thumb, which I, of course, do not have, uh, you, <laughs> guys have you guys have all the advice, uh -huh. what to do, when to do, don't do this after December, don't not I, deep and I all even that. have the best books available for gardening here in, in South Texas. Okay. okay. So uh, I have supplies at, at the workplace I can get you familiar and when you forget what I told you, which you will, you can refer <laughs> back to the book and say, oh yeah, she said that. Okay. Okay. Well, fantastic. Yeah. For more information on Milberger's Nursery, thank you very much, you, Mary. Okay. You're very uh, welcome. And all the tips on fall planting, just head over to our website, salive.com, and download our app by searching SA Live KSAT in the App Store and on your mobile device.